Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg. Today I'm going to be talking about thrusting towards purpose and meaning and also towards your growth mindset. So today I'm publishing an article. It has 38 questions and it helps, you know, for you to really think about how you could move towards your growth mindset. People always ask, especially as things exponentially over time, you know, seem to, or at least feel like they're worsening. Um, and an example of that was, you know, yesterday, the highest rate of death, for example, the frustration and controversy over loosening the sheltering in uh, policies. So there's a lot of people with a lot of very intense feelings about all this happening in this moment. And also just, again, the uncertainty of, you know, when we're going to be able to have more freedoms and less people obviously will be negatively impacted. A lot of questions that come up for us on a daily basis. So I thought having questions that you could actually ask yourself will put you in that sphere where you could really think about where am I? Where do I want to be? You know, going through all of this. To access the blog, which is, the name of it is, Thrusting Toward a Growth Mindset During and After the Coronavirus, you could look on Facebook on Dr. Michelle Maidenberg, or you could also go on my website, which is www.michellemaidenberg.com, and that's two L's for Michelle, and Maidenberg is M-A-I-D-E-N-B-E-R-G. So I hope it's helpful for you. And like I said, it's, it's already there, so you could find it right away. And then we're gonna get into a guided meditation. And part of working through this and through this adversity and difficulty and challenge is really finding meaning. Again, not to say, you know, sometimes I hear people saying, you know, this is happening for a reason or uh, something good could come out of it. And I know that people have been reacting negatively to that, saying like, what good could come out of this? This is horrible. How could we think that way? So I'm gonna say to have a more balanced kind of mindset about it and to say to yourself, we are in this predicament, we are in this situation and we have no choice. So while we are, how do we wanna be living? How do we want to define our lives? And that's just a better way of looking at it rather than saying it's worth it, it's not worth it, you know, quantifying it, so to speak. So we're gonna do a guided meditation. If you could sit straight with a straight posture. And if you feel comfortable, you could close your eyes and allow your thoughts to flow freely and just observe them as they drift. They may wander, they may be contemplative, and they may be imagining. All the while, notice your breath, the inhalation and exhalation. Notice your breath even if your mind drifts away and without judgment or self-criticism. Just notice the mind drifting and very gently and compassionately call it back to the present moment. As if it were a child, you know, yearning to be free and walking away and you would just say, come here very gently and compassionately. Just notice if any thoughts are coming to your mind and be open to exploring them all. Notice if you're tapping into moments of joy, maybe moments where you're feeling weak or spent 
whatever's coming up, just allow them to be and invite them in. And imagine taking a journey through the wild. And as you're walking, you're noticing all of nature. You're noticing the trees that are flourished with beautiful leaves. You're noticing the birds chirping with ever essence. And in the distance, you notice some animals just roaming free through the wild. There's a zebra with beautiful black and white stripes just galloping through the wild. And then noticing a cheetah racing quickly through the wind. And notice the deer as they look for their young and roam very gingerly. And notice the elephants with their big tusks flowing through the air and the giraffe standing very tall with their neck outstretched out, looking through the clouds. And notice a baby possum just walking slowly near her mother. And notice the feelings in your body of gratitude and appreciation for all of nature and the environment and the earth for which you inhabit it. And notice the joy of just sitting there and feeling the wind whisking across your face. And the joy of witnessing the freedom of all the animals through the wild. And as you're looking over, you notice a beautiful flower peeking through the grass. making you aware that there's beauty in the world and the earth around us. That we inhabit an earth that's rich with resources and in which we love dearly. And when you're ready, I count to three, you could open your eyes. One, two, and three. Thank you. I decided to focus my guided meditation for Earth Day. So I hope you enjoyed that. And again, I hope your families are safe and healthy. Thank you.